Yeah, hi there and welcome back. So let us continue with our lesson and this will be the first lecture and on this section we will be covering up about the Android navigation and how to build up our Android navigation using our architecture component. So uh, what we will be doing in this section is we will learn how to build a bottom navigation and to how to build up a drawer and how to navigate from one activity or one fragment to the another fragment using our Android architecture component. So it's uh, really useful and we'll be building up a beautiful app and uh, I hope you will enjoy this section. So first of all, we'll be learning about the bottom navigation over here. So let's go and see how we can build a bottom navigation from a scratch. So here I will select uh, create a new project and we have an empty activity. And you can also use directly our bottom navigation activity which will create uh, everything for you and we'll set up everything regarding the bottom navigation with the help of the Android Studio itself. But what we want to do is we want to learn by uh, scratch how we build our own bottom navigation. So that way you will have more familiarities with what are needed and what are the things that we have to set up. So if you just select this one, it will automatically be created. And on the, on the background, what it's doing, you are not, you will be not familiar with it. So let's go and create from scratch. So I'll select the empty activity and just click on next. And uh, let, let us select the package from where we want to save this one. So save location. I'll just give our Android Studio, uh, Android Training, and uh, let me select uh, Udemy. And uh, inside this, let me create a new package or a new folder. And uh, let me give this one a name. So what name I want to give is as a, uh, let me say as a test and a v i g a test navigation app. And that should be okay. And just copy this one. Okay, so that should be the one. And just copy this name and just click on okay. And I will just give the same name over here. And for the package name, you can give uh, one unique package name over here. And I will select as a Kotlin from here. And the minimum SDK, I will keep to a 21, a API level of 21 or Android 5.0, which is of Lollipop. So let's click on the finished over here. And that will create a new project for us. And it may take a bit time. So let us wait for the Gradle build to complete. So it will take just a few minutes uh, and uh, let us come back. And the Gradle build has successfully completed. So what we will do is we'll go to the rest and we'll go to the layout. And let's go to the activity main over here. And currently we have a hello world. And uh, let me try to remove that one. And let's search for the bottom nav from here. So we have a bottom navigation view. And just drag that one to the your layout over here. And this need to download some of the Gradle dependency. So you can see that it need to download com.google.android material. So it need to download some dependencies. Just click on OK. And uh, that will go and add a one more dependency to your build and grid so build that griddle and the module app just select this one open that one and uh, if you go down it will add you add for you the material dependency so this is the one that it added so just cut this section and let me add it below over here and this should be for the test and uh, this is for the material I can just copy and paste it this one. So this is for Google material design. And uh, okay, so we have, it has automatically added for us this dependency. So just synchronize anything that you have to change, then just make sure you synchronize it. And we'll go over here. And what we'll do now is we will constrain it. So we will constrain to the uh, the layout width will just give a uh, 0 dp and go over here. Just select this eye and the drop down over here and select the horizontal in a parent. So it will constrain it horizontally. And for the height, what we want to give is wrap the content. 
so we we will wrap the content for the height and since we have added that one i we, we have to add a id over here i'll just say v o t t o button uh, nav view so we have a bottom nav view of id and uh, let me constrain it to the bottom over here and that should be of the zero and it will put on over here and now we need to add the menu so since this is already added what we need is we need to add the menu so currently we don't have any menu over here and we don't have that folder too so what we will do is we'll just right click to the rest and we will add some android resource directory and from the resource type we will check the menu just select that one and click on ok it will add a menu directory over here and right click over here and create a menu resource file and i'll just give a name as a button nav menu and I'll just click on ok so that will add a menu bar and we will add a menu item to it so we will add a let us add a three one two and three so we have added the three menu item and now let us give one name so this should be uh, let's say a home and the id we will give as an api so navigation we'll say home and uh, for this one we will give uh, another title so that should be of a dashboard and here we'll give an id as an api navigation dashboard and we have uh, one more and uh, we will give this one as a title title will give the uh, this one as a notify notification and here we will give an id as a an i navigation of a notify notification okay so we have all of our menu and the next is we need the icon so we want to show the icon at the bottom so for that we need to create an icon so let's go to the driver and right click and select the image asset over here and uh, we will select from here as the action bar and the tab icon and from here we will select the clip art and just select the clip art and search here so i'll just select the first as a home so that should be okay and i see we will say as a i see action and i'll call it as a home just click on you can select the color or custom color or anything i'll just say select as a hollow dark and just click on next and finish so that will add that has added a icon or menu or sorry the menu icon the home icon over here and we need a some more so i'll just image asset and i will need some dashboard so just select from here and search for dashboard and this is the one we need and i'll just give a name so dashboard just click on next and finished and we need a one more and that should be of the notification so i'll just change the name first notify notification and on the clip art i will just search for notification something so we will just make use of this one and uh, just click on ok and next and uh, just click on finished so now we have a three icons so what we will do is we'll select the home and go to the icon and we will select the home icon from here and for this dashboard we will select the same as the action dashboard and for the notification we will select the notification from here and uh, what we will do now is we have to create a resource for the string resource for all of this string files so just click over here and select the extract the string resource and just give the resource name notification and just okay and for the same thing just select there extract the string resource and click on okay and just click over here extract the string resource file and that will create a string resource file for us so if you go over here it sorry not the style we should go to the string so it will add the string resource file it has extracted for us so now our 
button menu is ready so we have our menu over here which is a button nav menu so now we can go to over here and i can select my menu from here properties so if we go to the attribute and on the menu i can select my menu from here and just click on ok so it will add a menu and uh, we can select why it's not showing so what we did wrong so let me try to select uh, some different device uh, sometimes it's not coming up over there so why it's not coming up so let me try to okay so bottom nav okay why it's not showing so let me try to see why it is not coming up i think the width is correct height is also correct and everything looks fine but it's not coming out so let me try to check it out and uh, sometimes the design may be not updated or we may the rendering may have some problem so what we will do is we will try to run our application and uh, let us see whether our bottom navigation is showing up correctly or not so i've just launched the app and let me open my device over here so just wait for the device to launch the activity and we'll see whether our bottom nav is showing or not so we can see that our bottom nav is coming up over here but the color is quite uh, ugly and we have to change this one and uh, i think that's not updating our let's go to the layout and the main activity and i think now we can able to see that okay so now we are able to see so we just have to change some of the colors and other formatting. So let's do it in the next lecture. Till then, have a great day.